Hello everyone, this is Pomo bringing you part 22 of F6 Survivor. It's here, it's here, it's chapter 18 Sakai, 18B, aka The Law of Sakai. Uh, very iconic chapter, very iconic chapter, but also very difficult. The way it's just an open space, no real cover, these two bridges that might seem like a good way to defend, but you actually have to be careful with uh, promoted nomads, because I'm pretty sure they can cross the river. And yeah, overall, uh, a difficult experience, a difficult experience. The boss is pretty difficult to defeat, and there will be also reinforcements from these houses all the way around and we have to deal with this with uh, 15 units so pretty generous deployment I'm going to unselect everyone because I think it's important to see who's the one dying here because in case it's someone like Shin I'm not able to use Shin because Shin is needed for chapter 2 and TX and Shin is definitely one of the best units to deal with nomads in this map, so yeah, that would be pretty bad and that would change my strategy a lot, I think. So we are going to check that before anything else. Please let it be world or some shit. Currently on chapter 18 with 20 units, 20 units that can be picked from world to Douglas. Let's take just a little moment to um, you know, to see that world has been surviving ever since chapter one. If I had trained him, he would actually probably be even better than a green at this point because he has some growths like 40s or across the board. But yeah, world, why do I get the feeling that you are going to stick with me until the very end? Okay. Um, so the number could be, well, these are just numbers between one and a hundred to see that the number generator is working properly. We want it to be between one and 20, obviously. So for example, these are just examples. The units dying could be a uh, ray, geese, okay, I would take that one, or ray, very focused on my mages. But the one actually dying is going to be... No, 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 no. Okay, so... Melody. You're gone. Melody. That's a horrible loss. That's a horrible loss. That's that that's actually probably the worst case scenario. Even worse than Shin. Nah, I, I don't know. I think Shin is maybe a bit more useful in this one. Having a flyer is good, definitely, because of the river and all that going uh back and forth in the river. I'm recording, right? Okay, yeah. Just in case, because, because this is pretty important. Uh, but Melody is in the same boat as she is. She has to go into the bench. So I can't use Melody for this map. Well, that's yes. That's just great. So, uh, okay, so I guess I will pick. And Cecilia will come. Trek, Ray, Percival, Fear. Oh, <laughs> well, good thing I started training date. Uh, I, I was kind of hoping that my suspicions wouldn't be correct, but yeah, Mila did dies. Uh, Bartre, Shin, Elfin. Barth, bringing Kath to steal Pa, I guess, and also 
Three more units, well paid. Who else? Who else can be even brought here? I guess a green to battle from the distance and Merlinus for selling. Actual Merlinus chapter. Okay, let me let me just put Fa at the end. Yeah, so that if they target, you know, with eclipses or something like that, or if they have staves, which I don't remember exactly if there are druids in the reinforcements, they target Fa. And yeah, these are going to be the units. Uh, well, we have to promote Tate. Presto. Okay. Well, there's some inventory work to do. Um, card, that's absolutely nothing. You need the silver card. I have to take everything from Melody. Uh, maybe Douglas. I think I prefer Igren than, than Douglas in here. Yeah. So I'm, I'm going to do the preparations and I'll come back. Shit. Everything should be ready. I've made some decisions here. By the way, you might notice that my layout is kind of running out of space for dead people. But yeah. So one of the decisions I've taken is that Okay, shop. Now, supposedly, yes. Percival wants to buy some stuff. Bartry is ready from the beginning. Fear kind of is. Probably Fear is my best unit to start with. But she doesn't reach. Okay, then it's going to have to be Trek. Yeah, it's going to be Iron Lance Trek. Uh, storage remove because I brought you here we're going to sell some things things that aren't really useful 13 uses iron sword could still be useful I think everything in here is useful this isn't can definitely get some money horse slayer I don't think I will find a lot of uses for it what's left of the game um, all of these are good weapons. The six uses silver bow may as well go to the to sell. Okay, I actually have a lot of restores, so maybe buying one wasn't necessary. I think unlock is never going to be used. I don't do this only for the money, but also to you know save a bit of a space. Okay, so because you have a steel sword, you probably don't double. Yeah. The other guy might double. Uh, he has a steel sword too. Okay. Let's say this is a fairly good start. Could even kill one of them, but how aggressive is the rest? Yeah. As I thought. Is every enemy in this map aggressive? looks like it what's the point of even you know having starting positions then i don't know yeah so this is bad but there's a reason why i went in there with bart first so aside from these guys that are actually kind of dangerous most enemies in this map can't overcome the 24 uh, attack barrier and those that can will use a sword so they will have disadvantage against lances that means Barth if I play place him here with a javelin and use the Draco shield technically with his 24 defense can tank absolutely anything is that enough not really. I also need another unit to tank, and that would have to be a unit that can actually kill. I'm going to buy some more from the convoy. 
actually like almost until I run out of money because this is one of the most valuable <laughs> items in the game. Nah, this is okay already. Like, okay, Merlinus served his purpose. Okay. Thanks. Thanks, that was a pretty important kill to get. The more enemies we kill, the less enemies can go against us in the future. And then it's all a matter of the few ones that stay piled up in front of Percival with full health we try to take care of. Yeah, this is bad because they take the forest and you can't hit them. Actually, you don't even double. Ooh. But yeah, the classical love Sakai experience. <laughs> and if it wasn't enough, I would even go as far as to... Mm. A 49 and I don't get killed. Okay. Good, good. That's a kill for Tate. And that's promotion for Tate. <laughs> that's immediate promotion for Tate. Uh, stats are garbage, but you are going to get more movement and you are going to get the bonuses, so it should be okay. Yeah, Shin isn't the tankiest, but he does have the advantage of being more accurate. And he just has two range, so he's better at countering bows because he's a bow himself. Strength, speed... Oh, Shin, please. <laughs> Shin is so, such a good staple in my army that uh, I'm, I'm really scared of him dying, especially after Sudi. But if he manages to not die, then Mulager Shin is going to be able to just one round wyverns on 21 and, and that will be great. Okay, fair. We can miss some of the 77s. I'm a bit scared of the promoted enemies. Uh, yeah, this is bad. This is bad. They are going to surround. They are going to surround. At least I'm in the forest, but the other... Yeah, this guy was definitely going to go in there. We knew it. Okay. Um, promotion. Promotion for Tate. I, I thought long and hard about how I'm going to tackle this chapter, so... Two across the board, a bit of constitution, so better combat in general. Also swords, so more accuracy. I think Raycath, I think that was a thing. Um, Elfin Percival definitely is one. But Elfin Cecilia could also be... Oh! I have the support available. I have the support available. Okay. So you have to remember to unlock that one. Um, just throw the javelin, I mean. If you hit, you hit. And if you don't, you're not wasting the weapon. Okay. Good thing I equipped the Iron Sword because that takes care of the killing edge. When the mages start moving, that's going to be problematic. But when the wyverns start moving, that's when we're, when we're definitely far. Okay, might even speed up a little bit through this. Yeah, okay, so I get hit here, I don't hear. Uh, okay, yeah, they can cross the rivers. The promoted ones can cross the rivers. Um, was it that bad? I bought the stuff, right? Oh no! That was the silver card. Okay, yeah, and, and you kill here also. Alright, alright, then, then we're resetting. I was probably going to reset already because... Yeah, but... This is, this is horrible. <laughs> By the way, I just realized that I have the silver on 
a character that is selling when the silver is supposed to make it cheaper for you when you're buying. So yeah, literally not using the silver the proper way. That's always nice. I did some damage here. Unfortunately, I only damaged one of them. So that means the druid is going to be able to fix it. Very soon. Yeah, very soon. Any moment now. Okay, they're moving. Yes. Okay. Any moment now. They're moving. All right. There goes the physic. Cap magic druid. You go up to full. Perfect. Very fair game. Um. Yeah. So you have 19 speed. I know I double. So I'm going to stay here. With a killer. And I'm also going to trade you. Yeah, I'm going to trade you uh, one of my killers. Because I the, the only reason I brought you was basically because I thought it would be easier. Uh, to get them in this chapter, but that is apparently not the case. By the way, you two support. Prince Mildin? Your Highness, you were alive? Have you mistaken me for someone? A Melfin, a simple bar. No, you are... But... No, it can't be. Excuse me? No, nothing. Then I shall be open. He... He looks just like him. Too much like him. And of course, the Iron Bow to be able to counter that one nomad that can reach up there. Okay, the iron sword is very accurate even against you in here. I miss my 70 because I'm... <laughs> because I jinx myself, but aside from that, at least I take care of the armor slayer. I think. Which means uh, Barthe is okay. So one of the bridges is effectively blocked. I, I can't believe I gave a, a whole speech about how bothersome it is that the nomads can cross the rivers and then I just don't bother to you know check if they can uh, yeah that's the whole reason why this map is difficult because you can't just chase it with a single unit actually they will probably prefer attacking Percival right because Percival doesn't... Well, no, because now they have to use the sword. Because every spot to attack with a bow is covered. So maybe they'll go for... They will go for Shin. I believe. Ah! There was one spot. Yet undiscovered. Okay, that's really bad, actually. At least you, you go for me from here. Okay, critical. No doubling. How? Do you have 21 speed? You have 21 speed. Yeah, you're accurate. That's that's something, Roy. He have 19 damage with a lot of accuracy. The problem is rescuing you out after. Okay. I have an idea. With Roy support, this should be accurate, more or less. It's 58. Okay. It's a bolting. But I now can't physic you, so you will have to survive with 26 health. Percival, you have to hit at least once. Percival, you piece of shit. Can we go here? We heal Percival. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Still need to rescue Elfin, but we can do that also. 
Almost anyone can rescue Elfin. Well, that's actually false. Uh, Roy can, for example. Can you? You can. Okay. Good. Javelin. We stay there. Now you can cross. So I know this is an over. But you don't kill Igrin, so... It's going to have to be enough. Okay, so they are surrounding Shin, apparently. Shin doesn't have the best defense, so if they are able to hit, he's, he's done, and he's not in a forest or anything. He has no particular advantage. He just has his, his natural dodge. Okay, and they always have that 5% critical that could happen. Thankfully, they aren't even hitting. Uh, how did you... Oh, you attacked Percival, okay. Percival... Really disappointed with you right now. <laughs> At least the way I position them means... Uh, you, you will go for a green, I know this, so... Means that they will never block my exit. Percival is just fucking around today. Percival doesn't want to work. Okay, you went for the steel sword because you double with it, but you don't kill. So that's okay. It's not the greatest, but it's okay. Please. All the hits you've saved. Second one, let's go. At least you're killing. Okay, and this other one, here is the 20. And I actually kill, all right. So he just was very disproportionate about when he hit and when he didn't. Uh, well, here I'm expecting absolutely nothing. These are 52s, and I don't double, so. Javelin broke. What do I equip now? The sword? Speaking of swords... Equip the sword, which means... Uh, with the steel sword, you're probably slowed down enough for me to go and, and try and kill you with Shin. Okay. This guy, I'm okay, but this guy has to get killed. I obviously have to start with the silver sword. If I hit twice, that's over with. Okay. That's very good, that's very good. And the promo goes with a sword against shit. Which means he can now maybe cross the river. Zero hit. Okay. Can reduce my HP to 1, but has zero hit, so no menace. I know there will be reinforcements coming, so I'm, I'm not that safe yet. But um, I still feel like advancing. Okay, you're good. You're okay, this is good. They'll probably try and sneak around the nomads if they can. Uh, Percival against a flux won't get hit. Uh, this is just yes, two damage. Okay, you can hit Tate. You found an enemy that you can hit without 7%. And you miss your opportunity. Can't wait for you to lose all of your uses of Eclipse and then become a bunch of experience for Fa, because that's my primary reason for bringing Fa here. By the way, no enemies to the right. Just the Wyverns. Well, yes, the Wyverns. Uh, something I didn't take and I should have remembered. I have S rank, so... Um, 
can do something very cool, which is just taking the fucking Durandal. And yeah, that is just allowed. I've done more ridiculous stuff, so <laughs> let's go for this. Uh, okay, 42, 42, 31. Um, yeah, none of these things look any more accurate. Like the Iron Sword is more accurate, I guess. Don't think it's... Oh, 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 oh. Actually. Yeah. No, no, no. I want to go here. If this works... This works, I'm a genius. Oh, it would be so beautiful. Okay, now, jokes aside, everyone in here can survive the bow, mostly. Um, except for these two guys, so I just have to block that space. And I can do that by putting... Oh, no, 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 no. Can you go through the forest too? Yeah, you can go through the forest. Oh, wow. Did I just... Yeah, yeah, I think I just fucked it up. You know what? My dancer can take it. You know who can probably not take it? 19 attack. Oh, 18 HP. Okay. Easy. Easy. No problem. Absolutely intentional too. Look at some reinforcements come and completely yes. Make my plan not matter at all. Oh you prefer going for barter? Because the double. Okay. I mean you do 14, that's a lot of HP, but does it matter when <laughs> my total HP is like 50 something? You go for Barth? Yeah? Oh, oh, wow! A critical against me? Oh, God! Have to say, Barth in this map is actually incredibly funny. Have to remember this. Uh, bringing a general into this map is yes. Feels like cheating, to be honest. Okay. You're rich here, you're rich here. And it's actually not that bad, because they are going to reach anyway. So we just get the killer bow, we heal, and we prepare to face the wyverns. You know? Also, we have Cecilia up here now. Uh, Cecilia might seem not that relevant in combat, but she can wield the air caliber. In fact, she is the only unit that can. Okay, went for fear. Rookie mistake. I need these two to go against the boss. And I need to rush with, with Roy against the boss. That was a beautiful shot. Critical would kill, but we're not that... Mm. That's annoying. Okay. okay. Maximum movement. We try. Actually hits. Incredible. Maximum movement. Uh, close to maximum movement. Maximum movement. Yeah. Am I just taking the houses? Yes. Because if the reinforcements appear, at least they won't kill my units up there. And then I go for the boss. One, two, three, four, five, six. We go for the boss next turn. Also, we have to kill a lot of people here. And I don't know if we are capable. I know I can take and I can run. That still puts me in your range. With your caliber I don't double you. I almost one shot. And that's with Roy support. Roy himself can do not a lot, but he can do a light ramp.
I have to get on a critical here. Yes, okay. With the promoted one go, we can we can start thinking. Uh, by the way, the unit we drop, the, the unit we rescued was the dancer, so we have no dancers. Um, that means I have 17 damage here. Okay, you don't, you know, you don't double here. You don't double here and pull health. Uh, you don't double here either. I think we survive you with everyone. No, Fa doesn't. You can definitely attack there. So I guess I just have to surround you while I kill. As weird as it is. It's just one square that I need to block. Okay, can, do you double me? No, but you one shot. You know what? If you're able to hit that, you can get the kill. I, I don't have any other means. Uh... Okay, reinforcements from the back. Not that bad. Okay, let's go. Let's fucking go. Let's fucking go. Alright, 27%. Yeah, I'm carrying someone. I don't care. You can hit me if you want. Yeah, hit me. Actually got hit with an eclipse. Something that doesn't happen very often. Um, okay, this is actually pretty bad. Because I don't I don't really have that many means of we go for this. Yes, that's right. Closer, closer. Right into our trap. No critical, no nothing. Okay. Brave Bow is bad for me. Brave Sword is a bit less power, actually. So it would be 27 power times 2. That's um, 19 times 2. I still would survive if it wasn't for the Lance River. And in it can be not for the Lance River. I can block the Lance River. Okay, so so I will stay. I will try and kill on this turn. Yeah, no, we go for the killer, obviously. I'd love to save some uses, but... Yeah. Oh no! There they are. So there were reinforcements on the previous turn. The loss of Sakai. There were reinforcements and I blocked them, probably. Okay. Go for fear. Okay. It's not that bad. Who do you go for? Survivor of the Kutola clan. Monkey, feel the Kutola wrath. Oh no, it's going to be Sheen, right? Ah, oh, Sheen. You got a critical there. You go against eight? Okay, guys. <laughs> You know what? I think I'm letting they die. I don't want to repeat this map, so... Oh, come on. That's just plain unfair. That's... I should have seen that coming. We go for this. Oh, 
I'm I'm so tired. I'm so tired. I'm so tired of life. I don't understand why things have to happen this way. I don't understand. This is a reset. Most probably uh, I can pray for a critical here. I get it, okay. So that's a promo gone. And I, I might even survive. But it's just a matter of putting people on places and praying that I survive. Then here we do some damage. I don't know. I don't know who's in range on, of whom. Uh, I just have to hope that most of the enemies appear on the lower hats. And so they can only target people like Percival and Bartre and Fear. Because anywhere else is a sentence of death. And yeah, you could give me this. I will equip. We'll use a vulnerary. And I'm going to hit now. Because I don't need it, so I'm going to hit. Okay, if this was a kill boss, I would still have the hope of... And I get a good level even. Yeah, I will, I will have the hope of being able to somehow kill the boss at the beginning of the turn, but... Oh, come on. Really? Do you double? You don't double. Okay. So you got distracted. You kill Kath. Wait. If I survive the Nomad, I continue. Okay, who's the Nomad going for? You're not going anywhere. You're going for Peer. Peer, get to criticals. Peer. Oh, there's still the Physic. Okay. Uh, you don't double. I know you don't double, so... It's a Physic. Piece of shit. Okay, at least he lost some HP. I know I need my Dancer to be able to do something there. Okay, I have to, I have to attempt this, obviously. I actually hit. I don't know how. Do I have a support? No. And I'm not going to get it. So... Like, at the very last moment. Okay. Hmm. Okay, okay. No, no, no. Uh, can I even... If I give it to you, you can go there. Yes. Killer bow. We end. You go here. We end. To go here. We trace this killer bow. I think I actually had a killer bow on someone else on Trek, but that's okay. Ching, you had the opportunity to avenge all of your family. You didn't take it. I gave you the opportunity. Is this my most accurate? 62, 67. Okay, but the critical is worth it. And I, I do more damage so I can one shot. Let's go. Goodbye. Okay. My 
calculations were flawless. So that would be Milady, Tate, and Kath. And okay, no, we we have to. I mean, a strength on fear, a support on Cecilia, which well we we could redo, but that's just a really good support. Uh, then we also got like a good level on Barth with more defense. I want to keep that obviously. And um, I don't know a lot of kills on Adrian. Uh, we didn't get any one relevant kill. We just got yeah. It's okay for me that the units that died died. Kaf can be perfectly replaced by Chaff. It's just she's just useful for opening doors and chests. I already have a thief. It's true that I'm not going to have any flyer, but I will have two flyers for chapter 21x. So the only chapters where it really hurts me is 21 and 23. Alright. Okay. That went better than expected. We only kept three deaths. That was no easy feat. That's... But now we've hit our strongest enemy in Sakai Heart. Oh yes. That was no easy feat. Um, okay. Okay. I mean, second attempt, on, on one hand, second attempt. On the other, we lost a lot of units, and this is not going to be the best, but I'm pretty sure that we still have enough units to deploy on every map. Even if we have to deploy maybe people like Walt uh, on, on chapter 22 and 23, that's okay. That's okay with me. Uh, I also think I lost the Lysian Whip, but uh, once again, that doesn't really matter because the only purpose of the Lysian Whip is to promote flyers and every flyer is death. So yeah, uh, that's going to do it for this part. Um, the, yeah, I if you were expecting some high plays, I kind of was too. And they didn't happen, so I don't know really who to blame, but don't blame me, please. Uh, the chapter is difficult, Sakai is hard, and thank God I didn't do an Iron Man because I considered doing an Iron Man instead of this run, and I would have died on chapter 7. And if I didn't, I was planning to go Sakai just to, you know, be different from my last play, and I would have died here. So, yeah. But I have to remember that Douglas with a bit of help can probably tank most of the enemies in this map, so once you take care of the armor slayer, this strategy could be replicated with a lot of powerful units that I didn't make use of just because I killed them off, like Rutger, uh, like um, the Christmas Cubs, Dick, and also some intelligent use of warping, like, you know, rushing the boss and then warping Roy so that he can seize the throne immediately. So, I yeah, I think I've learned a lot about this map on this on this attempt and on this run. So at least that's a good thing, right? That's, that's always... I, I feel like that's something you get out of good Fire Emblem games. Every time you replay a map, a map, you learn a little bit more about it. And you get a little bit better at it. So, yeah... Uh, that's going to do it for this part, though. This has been Pomum. Uh, if you like, then consider liking, subscribing, leaving a comment. And I will see you in the next one. Bye.